So my name is Kevin Hogan and I'm a senior design manager at Capital Group. The Capital Group, I would say, is still, would you still consider a new business considering it's quite a young business, it's a growing business, um, very, very active in the digital space and in, you know, revolutionizing the way we do things in the construction industry. And well, some of the challenges with, with projects is, number one, they, they're very spread out, obviously. Projects in itself is not something that operates in a factory. It, it's spread out either, you know, across the city or across the suburbs even, so they can be a bit disjointed. So. Um, Managing that remotely because as a senior person within a business and a you know, construction manager and the like, there needs to be across multiple business fronts, multiple projects. There can be a lot of, um, I guess, commute between and a lot of trying to you know, get into the elf degree of the detail on a project can be, can be challenging. Uh, we started looking at using 3D documentation products um, to try and you know, get a real life capture of a certain point in time out in the field. Um, and I guess when we went on this journey to look at sort of different um, options and features and, and I guess product providers and service providers in the market, we found out there's sort of three key factors that we really wanted to take over. And it was about finding the best fit to get those three in, which was not only getting your 3D photo capture, because I believe there is a bit of a red sea in service providers, but what was interesting is where Open Space came in was they had the, the other two really strongly lined up, which was one of them was compare your modeling functions against the install at site, again, a validation of design, which I found was extremely powerful because, you know, one thing is when you design something beautiful, if it doesn't get installed as per your approved design drawings, you are none the wiser. And it's quite challenging to compare, um, you know, imagine a project where you easily have 8,000 drawings against an installation on site where the model doesn't lie. Um, I guess another front would be Artificial intelligence, now it was very much a buzzword in thrown around, I thought, about two years ago. Everyone was talking about BIM first and then it was AI. And, but in actual fact, there was some truth to it. When we opened the bonnet of uh, open space and had a look, there is actually some really powerful AI within it that actually can recognize installations at site and give you a true picture of the progress versus what you were supposed to actually have installed. So when we first began our journey with open space, um, what we found is there's always a bit of a teething period where the people in the field that has to do the captures um, obviously need to understand what, where, how, why, um, and what value do they get out of it. So once they started seeing the value, that was that was really powerful. I think some of the, some of the strengths of the product is it is it is super user friendly. Right? It is you can literally pick it up and run with it after about a couple of hours of training. It's nothing over complex. Um, I think as well that for people on the move and directors that has a lot on their plate, it's fairly straightforward to navigate the platform remotely to say, hey, I want to go out and walk level 14, have a quick look at what's been happening out in the field today or if the walk was done today. Um, and again, for a design manager, if you have a little bit of smarts, it's quite straightforward to pull up a side-by-side -side view of the model and just make sure that you know what's being installed is actually what the design was approved. I think open space assists in at an early stage, identify if there is a potential issue. I guess a subcontractor gone and installed something which was not in line with what actually has been approved by the design team, the client, the architects. And then early stage, before someone else comes in, and I guess further and compounds that issue, it tends to happen if someone puts a pipe in the wrong location, the next person comes in and builds the duct around it. And before you know it, we're dropping the ceilings and we're compromising the end product. Um, where it is, we can pretty early go in and, and, and identify that someone has made a mistake. Therefore, we can fix it without having a huge compounding of cost and time implications or potentially a compromised product at the end of the day. I think the, I think the model compare function doesn't get enough near time. I think it's super powerful. Um, I think honestly, one of the other I said, I think one of the really powerful things is it's so difficult for someone to validate that a design is actually being installed in the field. And you would have to be Superman if you can remember every drawing, every penetration, every little piece of duct work, and walk around the site and say, hey, that looks wrong based on this drawing I remember I saw like two months ago, I proved. We're not just waiting for clients to tell us to build a BIM project anymore. We're just doing it. We're just modeling them, all of them, because we know that the information that comes from the 3D coordinate model and 2D and gets built, they've already been resolved. I guess the missing link for us has been we can do point cloud scans and manually check in, but I guess that's where open space comes in and provides a feature that you can, you can put in the hand of someone who doesn't need to be an expert in a 3D modeling environment software. They can literally just walk it, pull out the model side by side and have a look and say, hey, does this look right? Or does this look a little bit out of place? We would definitely use open space to win projects, but I would say not just to win projects, I would say to provide a service to our client and say, hey, 
you know, because it is there is a commercial implication by taking this on board. It's not free, obviously. So we understand, but we think the value that it adds to our clients, taking them along the journey, giving them afterwards accessibility to their building so they can go back and revisit things as they maintain their assets basically for the next 25 years. Giving them like that level of information, you know, that is that would be gold if I was a client.